Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, we are going to be discussing one tenth ounce gold coins. In this case, one ounce of gold in one tenth ounce size. As many of you probably already know, it takes 10 one tenth ounce gold coins to make one ounce of gold. And that's exactly what we have here. I'm gonna open up this tube. We're gonna look at every coin that is in this tube. But this is in fact one ounce of gold in one tenth ounce size of coins. And we'll also be discussing some pros, some cons, maybe why or why not to buy the one tenth ounce size. And we're gonna get into that. But first, let's go ahead and open up this tube and let's take a look at some of this gold. We're gonna look at each coin that I have in this tube. And first up, we have a gold Canadian maple leaf one tenth ounce. We're gonna zoom in on that. One tenth ounce pure, four nines, fine gold. This is a 24 karat gold coin. Canadian gold maple leaves are 24 karat gold. Four nines, fine gold. All of my one tenth ounce coins are in these coin capsules. All of my gold coins I keep in capsules or in air tights, but especially the one tenth ounce size because these are very tiny, very tiny, and they would be very easy to lose. I mean, they're almost about the same size as a dime. So these coins would be very easy to lose. And you see how these direct fit air tights are kind of oversized, which I like because it makes it a little bit bigger and a lot harder to be able to lose one of these coins. But this is a 2017 gold Canadian one tenth ounce gold maple leaf $5 face value. One pro to buying one tenth ounce gold coins is gonna be, well, affordability. Of course, the best deal or the lowest premium is going to be the larger size you go, the less premium you're gonna pay. So if you have the money, it's always better to go, in my opinion, with the larger size. So in this case, maybe the one ounce American Gold Eagle versus the one tenth ounce American Gold Eagle, it's always gonna be less premium. I find that the average premium on one tenth ounce coins is gonna be right around 20%, but then again, it depends on what coin you go with. Now, when I buy gold, I do prefer to buy American Gold Eagles being in the United States, it's the most liquid, it's the most popular, it's the coin that most people in the United States want. So this is the coin that I generally go with. However, during the recording of this video, the premiums currently in October of 2022 are outrageous. Given the current environment we're in, maybe at this time it would be better to go with maybe a Canadian Maple Leaf versus a American Gold Eagle, but that's totally up to you because premiums are way less on other coins at the current time. But this one here is a one tenth ounce American Gold Eagle. This is a 2017 and we are zoomed in. Just by looking at it with your eye, it's very hard to read the date on these because of how small these coins are. In a lot of cases, if your eyes aren't that good, you're gonna need a magnifying glass or a loop or to have it very close up to your face to see that date on a one tenth ounce gold coin. The American Gold Eagle is 22 karat gold. It's still one tenth ounce of gold and it still takes 10 of these just like the Canadian Gold Maple Leaf to make up one ounce of gold. But as you can see with the Canadian Maple Leaf, how you have the Canadian Maple Leaf is a little bit more of a gold color than the American Gold Eagle, and that's because the American Gold Eagle has a little bit of silver and also a little bit of copper. As far as coin capsules are concerned, both coins are the same size, so I was able to put the American Gold Eagle and the Canadian Maple Leaf in the same size of capsule. I like these direct fit capsules because they're a little bit oversized and it makes it harder to lose them and then I keep them all 
in this tube, so really awesome. The only pro or the only benefit to me in buying one tenth ounce gold coins is gonna be the fact that if you don't have any gold and you want some exposure to gold or you wanna stack some gold, then you can buy the one tenth ounce. It's more affordable to be able to buy one of these because of course it's gonna take more money out of pocket to be able to buy a one ounce, a half ounce, or my favorite is actually the quarter ounce American Gold Eagle. So here's the Canadian Maple Leaf 2017. We have a 2017 American Gold Eagle. Then we also have another 2017 one tenth ounce American Gold Eagle. And we're going to stack all of those up right there. We also have another 2017 one tenth ounce American Gold Eagle. Stack that one up right there. Then we have a 2016 one tenth ounce American Gold Eagle. And here we have another 2016 one tenth ounce American Gold Eagle. Most of my gold is going to be American Gold Eagles. However, some of them are different. Here we have, what is this date? This is a 2005 one tenth ounce American Gold Eagle. Zoom that out just a little bit. We're getting down to the very last couple. And then we have another, what is this? 2013 it looks like. American Gold Eagle. See, it's a little hard on some of these to see the dates, but it looks like that is a 2013 one tenth ounce American Gold Eagle. This one is a 2015 one tenth ounce American Gold Eagle. And then this one is one of the first gold coins that I ever purchased. I think this might have been the second or third gold coin that I ever bought. And this was, what year is this? The year of the dog, Perth Mint Lunar 2018, one tenth ounce. This is the only Perth Mint Lunar gold coin that I have. And once again, just like the Canadian Maple Leaf, this one is also 24 karat gold, pure gold. And again, rather you're buying the 24 karat gold or the 22 karat gold, it's all the same amount of gold. It all takes 10 one tenth ounce American gold eagles and 10 one tenth ounce lunar gold coins or one tenth ounce Canadian maple leaves to make one ounce of gold in the one tenth ounce size. Some of the cons to, and buying one tenth ounce coins are going to be the premiums. The premiums are going to be a lot higher. In some cases, if you need to sell, you may get the premium back. You may get a lot of the premium back. You may not get all the premium back. That's why if you have the money, in my opinion, it's a little bit better of an idea to go with the bigger size, rather it be the quarter, maybe a half ounce, or if you can afford the one full ounce, it's a better idea to buy the full ounce because the premiums are going to be much lower. You kind of have to weigh the affordability, the amount of money that it takes out of pocket to be able to buy a one tenth ounce or a quarter ounce versus buying a one ounce versus the premium that is on these coins. I believe at the current time, the premium on a one tenth ounce American Gold Eagle is gonna be right around 30%, which is a very high premium. All the one tenth ounce gold coins that I have here, I bought between the years of 2017 and 2018. I haven't bought a one tenth ounce gold coin in a very long time. My average cost in one tenth ounce gold coins, all these coins that you see here is about 155 to 160 dollars per coin because I bought these when gold spot price was between 12 and 1300 dollars per ounce. Now, 160 dollars times 10 that's 1600 dollars, so the premium was still very high, although if I wanted to sell these today, given the fact that spot price of gold is over $1,600, well, then I've done pretty good on these one tenth ounce gold coins. But I transitioned from buying one tenth ounce gold coins to buying quarter ounce gold coins. And there you can see the one tenth ounce American Gold Eagle and the one quarter ounce American Gold Eagle where it takes 
10, one tenth ounce American Gold Eagles to make one ounce, and it only takes four one quarter ounce American Gold Eagles to make one ounce. And the premiums are much better. Affordability is a little bit harder on the quarter ounce, of course, because it's a bigger coin, it's more gold. So affordability, it, it takes a little bit more savings to save up for the quarter ounce, but less time to save up for the quarter ounce than the one ounce. And the quarter ounce is going to have a much better premium on the quarter ounce than on the one tenth ounce. So let me know in the comment section below, what are your pros? What are your cons between buying one tenth ounce gold coins, quarter ounce gold coins? Do you prefer to buy the one ounce gold coin? Which kind of gold coin do you buy? Which kind of gold coins do you stack? What size do you buy? What size do you like? For me, if I have the money, I would rather go one ounce, but if I don't have the money and I just want to buy a gold coin at any given time, I prefer to go the quarter ounce over the one tenth ounce. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Thanks everybody for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll talk to everybody on my next video. Thanks a lot everyone.